So here today we're going to crack open a box here. This is the start of a Neo Geo project. This is a Neo Geo that I bought, failed, on the bay for um, slightly under $20 and then shipping and shipping of course on something like this. You almost all, at that kind of price you're paying more for the shipping than you are for the product in question. That's pretty common. This is um, failed with the screen RAM issues. Fortunately, they're not hard to find, but we still have the old dressing issues that could be present. Packed up with some nice newspaper. Set that aside. In a box that once held auto parts. Let's get this box out of the way. bag that once held auto parts apparently. It's probably my brain, but it's making it smell like oil. Well, that's because that's the smell that car parts evokes in me apparently. Let's see about getting this open the rest of the way without making you people too sick over there. Tape it nicely. Packaging is hard. So, hoping to do is do a quick visual and probably do a few quick things. Namely, check for any type of battery leakage. Or is that knowing the tongue? So this is a fairly dusty unit. Um, as in. You know, there is significantly notable dust. Um, and that might turn out to be a blessing, being that we have some socketed parts, you know. A few of that looks like it's just the um, system program ROM that is socketed at the moment. Let me get a screwdriver so I can remove the riser board, and so we can take a peek under the well, you can take a peek under the riser board and look for anything there that might be important I can see the original battery is still installed um, so it, it's pro I'm probably going to remove it simply on principle and replace it with a um, coin cell holder nice little blocking battery in here oh look it's decoupling capacitor so, the riser board it is attached to this plastic mounting. This plastic mount piece is attached with three connectors along here and four screws at each of its corners. So, one. That's a little bit tricky to get there with the riser board itself. I may have to remove the riser board from its bracket before I can remove the bracket and board. And unfortunately for me, this will also be detaching two of the feet. Now, the feet aren't important right now, but they're more important. I have to set the camera down and remove these screws, unfortunately. On. Four. So with our riser board now removed, we're gonna unscrew. We're gonna lift slightly up. We're gonna lift up slightly, and the riser board, which has basic, which has no active components on it, so I'm just gonna set it here on my static magnet. Ooh, that looks like mold. Yeah, it might just be mold right there. That should be easy to clean up. Um, we've got... Okay, there's there looks to be some damage around the battery. There's so much dust here. It's hard to tell. Um, it looks like 
that trace might be compromised. That's um, that's the battery, of course. So I'm gonna dust this, and the problem just gonna dike the battery out real quick. Um, because I would really don't want to apply heat to it, being that it's already starting to do things. So I'll just probably dike it out, and I'll replace it with a, um, you know, with this footprint. I can replace it with a coin cell and you know, put it myself in a nice little blocking diode and. Um, yeah, this thing is just dusty. Um, it was listed as failed with a video RAM failure. Um, and the video RAM, with specifically the, um, the slow video RAM, which should be, um, in memory serves these two. Over here. Yeah, these are 120 nanosecond, um, that's the video, the slow VRAM. There's a 32768 clock crystal, but you know, if I'm not mixed up, that's the that's the slow video RAM, and this is probably the fast video RAM. Yeah, this is a 35 nanosecond fast video RAM. Um, you know, um, other quick things to note: here's the Yamaha synthesizer chip. Um, um, it's over here on the end. It's silk screen. It's completely illegible through the dust. Um, you know, it's just a bit. Yes, there's the sharp. Is it? Is a sharp second source Z80, and actually looks like a first source, um, 68. Um, it looks like that. There's just probably hot glue on the battery, and we're gonna remove the battery. I'm probably just gonna cut it out, and then I'll solder. I'll remove the trimmings, and you know, for now, I'll probably just leave the battery out. I don't believe the Neo Geo resets after it reinitialized memory, but. If it goes into a boot loop, I'll just, you know, probably just tinker with the power supply until I get a battery holder, and I don't think I have any I can steal from anything right now. But yeah, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna um, introduce this board to the air compressor. Actually, I probably shouldn't. I, I should clean this differently. Being that that may or may not be mold, and I don't want that airborne. So I'm gonna go clean this up in a much more conservative manner than hitting it with the air compressor. Be back in a